uh, the point which i wanted to um, share here is see the main thing that the clues the clue is first first thing if you get a plain text like this this is how it will be in the textbook so when you get a plain text like this the first step that you have to do is identify the probable places of sandhis where it can be there and try to picture your tables in front of you and always focus on the result there are three parts in a table lhs rhs result so pura varna para varna adesha ragama or lopa is the result so whether it is adesha ragama or lopa is something which you have to constantly keep on thinking lopa comes in only uh, one place that is visarga lopa adesha comes in swarasandhi in all the three sandhis agama comes you have only gamuna agama sandhi and tugagama sandhi only two places you are having agamas so balance everything is adesha so this is with this broad understanding we have to attack the sentence and split see the aim of this exercise is sir why should we split sir i will practice in such a way that without splitting i will read okay very good but if i ask you the meaning you have to go word by word then you have to form the sentence meaning so first thing is to read correctly you need to know the split only when you know the split you will be able to get the get the word level meaning only when you get the word level word level meaning you will be able to do the sentence level meaning which is why the padacheda is very very important some people are saying here that i don't know the meaning i don't know it's okay if you know the word it is okay we will do it but afterwards you can take the meaning so the parayana kaushala varga that we have done now has two main objectives one is to help you split and do the padacheda rightly for any shloka or any paragraph like this gadya inside a spiritual text like ramayana or bhagavata he is first to arrive at the padacheda once you arrive at the word at the word you can always find out the meanings of the individual words using a dictionary or you can ask some pandit and you can get the meanings once you get the word level, word level meanings you can form your meaning on your own so this padacheda or splitting the word has two fold effects <clears throat> one is it enables you to read the text very fluently which is parayana kaushalam and also the next step it helps you in the next step which is arthavagamanam understanding the meaning of the text now you may say that sir i don't know whether this is prathama vibhakti whether this is dvitiya vibhakti all these things you may have doubts which word it is what is the kind of word it is what is the form etc you don't know that is okay that is the next step so on the last day i will be telling you what are the next steps that we can take so that we can master this entire sanskrit grammar so today in these classes you have studied the split and the join of the sandhi by which you are at arriving at a padacheda of a shloka or a paragraph this is the outcome that we have all achieved so what is the usefulness of the outcome one is to read fluently and to know the splits internal split sometimes you may not split for example apibata savai kripana yena balako marta harini sutoho mamar mamar mama naryasya shata kirata mate rakrita sukrutasya krita visrambha atma pratyayena tadaviganayan sujana ivagamishyati i joined all the sandhis and i read as the, as, as the text itself but if you have practice you can do that this itself you can practice there are many people who don't know sanskritam only who are reading bhagavatam who are reading using different scripts like malayalam script kannada script telugu script tamil script they are reading bhagavatam they are reading like how i read today api bata savai kripana yena balako mata harini sutoho manaryasya shatakirata mate rakrita sukrutasya krita visrambha atma pratyena tadavi ganayan sujana ivagamishyati very good when they have to arrive at the meaning they have to go at the word, to the world level even if they are reading fluently and practicing from a particular audio or anything still it is okay but if they know the sandhi if they know the split 
if they know that at the individual word level this is the word here and this word has been used by bhagavan vyasa if it is bhagavata and valmiki if it is ramayana you will have the joy in understanding the meaning of that word so this was the this is the outcome that we are slowly reaching the outcome 